Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing our playthrough of Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Sugar. Sorry, Monster Hunter. Hello. And Raffi is here. Yep. I'm, I'm sat here. Oh, oh no, it's the... I thought I thought Nanka was waving with her hand, but no, it was just the that popping in. I never trust autosaves. Then don't use it. I know. Um, uh, so I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone last time off screen, so I don't oh. have to worry about co-op trial quests and subquests okay. where you can test yourself against beavers. Got it. No. Now featuring the Fade Four. Okay, that's Elm another Frost thing. Okay, uh, so Monster Day. In which direction is uh, was it, is there like the was it the fireflies to show me the way? You have a map. Oh, is that ZR? And you also have a mini map. That just seems to mini map. Oh, out and then. I'm assuming the giant orange icon. It might be a good start. Yeah. <laughs> it usually leads you in the right direction. Was there. There was something that was in the evening we needed, wasn't there? Dusk shrooms. Or is it harder in the evening? No. It just changes what uh, items and monsters can be found. Okay. So if you want dust shrooms for one of the quests, you go for evening. Okay. Because uh, I'm not sure if the whatchamacallit changes the monster we're looking for. No. Okay, so go evening then. I know after all, we've already shown off the afternoon, so... It's literally just... Also, no one goes out during the day. No. Lazy bums. Why would they? This is the evening? I'd call it this afternoon. I would suppose this is a sunny area, so... Yeah, it's sunset. So, press Y to ride your monster and you'll be a lot quicker. Yeah, the Champion. chicken. I don't know what. Oh, I can. Yeah, and then if you keep going, you'll get stuck. Okay. So, I, you know, I thought you meant that... I, 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 that and you can stand here. in a puddle. Yeah, if you okay. Can. Okay, so, uh, let's see, mushrooms. I'll look for on the way. It's not quite a priority. But I'm assuming it'd be in the grass anyway. They're just... Around. Should I? I, well, I already leveled up from the XP thing. I assume there's no point that I need to really grind for at the moment. What, what the? Oh, that's a monster? Yeah. I just thought that was like a cop cheese. Yeah. <coughs> Use blunt weapons. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, skills, skills it is to swap switch weapon. Button. Iron hammer. Okay. Okay. Um. I guess I'll use technical for the moment because I don't know what these guys are and Trippy's using technical. So. I mean, if you want me to tell you, I will just tell you. <laughs> also, no, you cannot have him as pets. Okay, that... Oh, yeah, I was already... Uh... Oh, they're using power attack, okay. Yeah, default to use whatever you're using. Try and... Okay. You'll say try and attack the one that... Uh, your monster is facing. Oh, okay. So, because then it will get you a double attack. Yeah, I've got to look, uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, and technical. I, I mean, you. He's won't... using speed, isn't he? Because that's why it's blue. No. That's just the color of line. That oh. you need when you do the turns. You need to pay attention to the symbol that appears underneath them, and then so if you use power. I mean, it won't matter because your monster's using technical. But use power. Click on it. Well, that, I thought those three symbols were, you know, for pierce, stab, and blunt. Yeah, you're using a blunt weapon. Yeah. So blunt weapons are super effective. That's okay, got nothing so to do with So what symbol underneath the guy? Underneath the health bar. When you oh, underneath. actually do the turn. Yeah. So click on it. Technical attack. Okay. That's kind of how you figure out what type of attacks they're going to use. Okay, so he's going to still use a, te a technical attack. Yeah. Little monsters like this don't really change their attack types. It'll also be when you go to the head-to-head that -head, so we'll do that, and you can see on their side they'll have technical attack, you'll have... Oh, wow, I took a surprising amount of damage for that. It's because one of them hit you without, like, being weakened or anything. I mean, did... Oh, I suppose. Okay, insect task. It's impossible to tell what insect belongs to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure husk means that poor creature is dead. Shell of country. 
Yeah, pretty sure it's dead. Well, I guess technically Conchus can't be chased back to a den, so they might be dead. But any monster can be chased to a den. Technically, that's when you kill it. Uh, how do I heal it? Uh, X. So the donuts can only be used out of battle. Oh, okay. You also have a button in the overworld. By the way, you've gone the complete wrong way. Oh. Well, you've gone past where you need to go. Oh. Um. Paint berries. Okay. Yeah. They're useful for making paintballs, which are good if you want a specific type of mm. monster. There was a den I had to look for. This is just. Oh, that's true. There you go. How many did I need? I figured four, I'd... I think. But you. You'll find. I'm assuming I'll find them soon enough. Trends. Yeah. As long as you just go out in the evening, you find a lot of them. It's around last time. Sure. Oh, okay. This so is teaching you overworld abilities. Oh. Again. So if you okay, just is there an there. auto switch for it here? Yep. Yeah, change. Okay. So here. Now Ranmar is in the lead. So how do I switch on the overworld? Oh, well, wait, to, be, to, to be fair, they're both the same level now, aren't they? So Yeah. And monsters in the back still gain EXP. Okay. Generally you end up like later on you end up switching around <laughs> between monsters a lot anyway. Um so like you you rarely get in a situation where you just use a single monster. Oh, that was quick. Some monster dens are out in the field while others are located inside caves. Investigating dens can get you monster eggs. The location of the monster in the <coughs> cave entries changes each time you go out into the field. I've still got a cough, by the way. Once in a blue moon, a rare monster den may appear. Check out those dens to obtain rare eggs. Once in a blue moon. And for once, they were actually right. Because the golden dens are pretty bloody common. Oh, but it's a paint berry? Oh, for them. Yeah. The mushrooms again. Done. Oh, well. Would have been nice for you to get that out of the way quickly. But oh, well. I'll just find it as I go. You can repeat the quest as well. Oh. It's a relatively easy way to earn a little bit of VXP. Den Chief... Oh, Den Chief Caracol. Is this whole thing not a den? Uh, 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 yeah, I assume so. This is just giving you a tutorial on combining. It's kind of like... Um, this story is completely redundant because I'm here mm. and can literally just tell you everything. Um, yeah, so it's I'm assuming two is two blue mushrooms enough, and I'm assuming uh, you know as the peaceful, nature-loving people we are, we're not gonna like cook up these pure butterflies we've just grabbed. Uh, sure. It requires herbs and mushroom. It doesn't actually use butterflies. Okay. So, at the bottom, it'll tell you how many you've got in your inventory, how many it requires to make the item, and the, how many... Do we get any points for making different things, or...? No. Okay. I know some games, it's like, you know, you made a different thing, here's some for the first time. I mean, it's useful to have... Like, you might as well turn herbs into potions. Hey, the last dust mushroom! And you might as well make donuts... Okay, make like, the donuts. It, you can make one one at a time. I didn't know if I needed the uh, other ingredients. For <coughs> I'll just make those two just in case I encounter another thing. The to potions make. you might as well use. I don't think you use herbs for anything else. You can't make that many. I thought it'd stop me before I get to that. No. For some reason it just tells you how many you, you can't make. <laughs> it's like, nope, you can't make that many because you're lacking this much in this. Mm. And it's like, that's a bit weird. Usually there's something in those little crevices. I'm surprised at the lack of monsters. He said, I smell something here. Where, where are they? In more experience, is always good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that yet. Oh. Oh. What? What? <laughs> Just leave it there. I thought it was an enemy! It is. There we go, what? <laughs> they fly up <laughs> to avoid you. And then they like swoop down. Okay. Might as well go for a speed, because I got it first, and then I'll find out what it is after this first attack. Technical. Oh. 
This is your fault, Ramba! He's Grandma. a speed monster, to be fair. He's going to use speed attacks. So, okay, so power... Wait, no, speed beats power. He's no, he's technical. Speed. Yeah, technical. yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm So, you, so you said is, he's a speed monster with a speed. Your sword is ineffective. Oh, okay, so it's... Uh, General rule of thumb, if it's a bug, hit it with a hammer. Have you tried hitting a bug with a hammer? No. Grandma will lose this head to head. No, Grandma, no! It might actually be weak to pierce. Am I able to switch Grandma out? Yeah. Monsters. Switch monster. Like, I didn't know if I'd use up a turn or anything, or... Nope. You can switch a monster once a turn, you can switch a weapon once a turn. Because at least, you know, technical will at least do draws, so that's a better option than having to speed us out. Yeah. I think the next monster we get is a power monster. Yeah, that makes sense. Complete the triangle. Yeah. Because there are monsters that are, I guess, technically mandatory. It's like, um... Well, we peacefully spared that bug. Yep, with a hammer. To be fair, it attacked you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I was a bit... Kind of. <laughs> so, can't do that yet. Um, you won't be oh able no. to... Oh, no. Two directions. Which way do I have to go? Look at your map. Press ZR for a start so you can see more of it. Like, you'll know where you need to go. Oh, no secret behind the wall. Full disappointed. Because as you get closer to it... The cat won't shut up? Uh, well, the cat, Navarro talks a lot anyway. He's kind of annoying. Um, um, it's an actor knife. I feel like there's treasure behind there. There is not. Treasure will appear oh, on the mini-map. So map. there's no reason to go there. So you see that white square on your mini-map? Yeah. That's a treasure chest. Okay. Um, so... Uh, it, this actually kind of ties in what you were talking about just before we started recording. No. Um, but there was a... Uh, Sony had a presentation recently. There's a jump panel. Ah, okay, that's why. There it is. This tries to run off the cliff. <laughs> <coughs> Life suit. <coughs> yeah. Ah, uh, Sony... Yeah, they had a, um... Before I start, like, coughing my lungs up again. Presentation recently where they announced a few things. Um... Eh, might as well see how this... Actually, wait. Uh, technique uh, beats speed, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. You can change, like, in fights. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Before. I'm not used to, you know, switching, not taking a turn. It's weird. Yeah. Wait, why is Chirpy using a speed? What? Because they do what they want. Okay, well, this should at least still get... I mean, a draw, I assume the head-to-head -head still benefits. I mean, you would have been better off going for a technique. Oh, okay. I thought, you know, because the draw would still result in... Um... A double attack? Yeah. No. It's only if you win that you get a double attack. Okay, so I'm relying on very dumb AI. Why? To defend himself. He likes the rock. Doesn't matter, he's dead. And by that I mean it's very much alive. He just knocked unconscious. Mm -hmm. now With my sword. Skin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you just got scales. <laughs> and <laughs> <some> bones. <laughs> it's hobbling now, but yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, they show, like, I've heard a few things from it, but I had no interest in checking out because, you know, it's PS5 focus or thing. Um, <coughs> it doesn't appear to be any other treasure chest, so I have no reason to really no. explore anywhere else. And I've got enough dust of mushrooms, so. Unless these bones have done. Oh, wow, can I, oh yeah, I can pick up the bones. Um. I'm yeah. glad we all do the exact same method for picking up items. Yeah, just so sure. wildly <laughs> mash the A button as we walk towards it. Yeah, well, it makes the most sense, doesn't it? Um, frog. Oh, you cannot collect pets. Oh, I was very. I thought I was oh, fight, but to fight. Press L, and it will use the donuts to quick heal. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, 
So you only use for the donors because you can't. So I knew a few, a few things. They showed off a God of War game. God of right. War. I'm also going to interrupt you once again, but this is somewhat important. So, yeah. on your mini map, you see how it. Zoom out. Yeah. You see that white blob? Yeah. That's an egg icon. That marks the end of dens. Oh, okay. Once you collect the egg that you desire, or they've run out of eggs. Oh, oh, it did, oh B to search. Yes, the Kulu Yaku's overworld ability is egg search. That, the egg is where you meant to go. Right okay, on. I thought there was like, I haven't checked um, at the very top up here though. So. There's nothing there. Is there absolutely nothing there? Well, there's nothing on the map. Most you're gonna find some mushrooms and some more bugs and oh, things okay. like that. Like I, you know, hadn't actually um, gone all the way up. The I'm assuming that's where I came from. The start there. Yeah, you can see there's faint dots which yeah. mark where you've been. Okay. Um, once you collect the egg you want and try to walk out of the like nest, it will give you the option. To, I might as well level up quickly. Like it will give you the option to teleport out of the dungeon. Mm. The den. Um, and I've pretty much uh, cleared it. Yeah, I was like, you know, six points away from leveling up. I figured I'd just, uh, yeah. Um, and he's a techie, so I he's a brute force him. So you use power. Yeah, finally! Double attack! Hooray! That's the same as the other one. Yeah, they're all the same. Oh, that's disappointing. The, only, the ones that are different are the kinship moves. Um... <laughs> yeah, like I'd seen people talking about a few of the things though, so yeah. like I knew that they they were doing a Spider-Man Two and a Wolverine video game, yeah. and the Insomniac are going to be doing like a shared video game universe with the Marvel characters. It sounds um, like a bad idea. In fact, Insomniac apparently have a lot of things on their plate at the moment because according to a leak recently, they've also got another Ratchet and Clank game in the future works. Makes sense. Um, so they've got a lot going on. They, you know, God of War, people have been talking about something. Oh, come on! Just oh, I can probably one-shot the speedy guys, though, if I run into one. Um, you know, I'd heard about those things. No, you know, none, nothing that really interested me. But then I saw something which did interest me. That was apparently at the start that I hadn't heard seen any of the people reacting to like, having their thumbnail sort of thing. I guess Sounds about right. Um, the first, apparently the first game they showed off was called Project Eve. It was a game which I had heard of before. You're saying it sounds like a familiar good thing. Go to Monsteed, actually. Uh, Monsteed? Yeah. Okay. No, it's useless. Okay, uh, yeah. this guy's speed, which is being my technique? No, no. Wait, no. Power beats technique. So yeah, technique beats speed and he's speed. Yeah. yeah. I get confused as well, don't worry. Oh, I was hoping it one shot. Uh, it's because if you did a double attack, you probably could have, but your monster is dumb. Yes. But it's okay, because <laughs> eyes. There's um, much brain behind them. Uh, Project Eve was actually a game I heard of before. Uh, it's by a Korean developer, a smaller one sort of thing, I believe. Yeah. Um, it's basically like Nier Automata, but you don't have to have this great vast knowledge of a bunch of other spin-off games. Yeah, it, oh, it's, man, IP. it's got a coherent plot. Um, well, it's Korean, so it's probably going to be kind of weird, but... Well, yeah. Um, they make some very unique games. But it looks like a really fun, fast-paced action sort of game, which you don't need a huge back, you know, backlog of his lore to actually understand what's going on. After you, Neo Automata is a game based off the third bad ending of a video game, which is like the seventh of its kind. Um, but, you know, Project Eve seems to be a lot simpler to understand. Oh. Killed a monster. Knocked a monster out. Oh, wait, we'd be just getting a speed egg then, wouldn't we? No. Why is it looking after its own. Oh, I'm sorry, it's trying to get the egg anyway. Okay, yeah. No, the, the. The monsters that are in the den make no indication of the eggs that you will get. That makes no sense. There can be, like, a Diablos sleeping on a, like, nest of eggs, and you'll get, like, a Kuli Yaku egg from it. That's not correct, but. That, that really makes no sense. Hey, yeah. hey finally, head to head! A double. Yeah. I didn't even have to tell you what to do. No, what? Alright, oh, no, go back. Go to your monster skills. You've now learned Rock Launcher. So click on that. Oh, because he's using Stone Shield. 
so yeah, it uses some of the kinship. Yeah. But it um, allows you to issue commands, and then it lets you do a double attack. And it's only eight kinship, so you still make kinship back. Okay. Now, Chirpy's just using a technical attack, so you can go over another technical. Oh, this is getting it's... kind of boring. The enemy hasn't had a chance to attack at all. Yes, no. This is how the ideal fights go. Oh, okay. A special showdown may sometimes occur between monsters. Use the indicated actions of just pressing a button repeatedly to cheer your monster on. Besides dealing damage to your opponent, win, get kinship. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Blooming heck. You have to tap hard. Yeah, the joy comes off. The Joy-Cons are really bad. Yeah, you really wanted to swear. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to. Uh, every single time I've used Joy-Cons, I have only barely won or consistently failed. I'm assuming with Kyrus it was a completely different story, because I've seen how fast he can tap. My problem is, like, that's, like, mashing A on the Joy-Con is not comfortable. EXPLOSION! Like... How did it... How dare you bite me? Oh, he's a speedy fella. Yeah, but and this right, is a chicken. Well, what the heck? Is that supposed to do that? No, I think... If there's a chicken, there's three against one here. <laughs> the ultimate technique. Bob. <laughs> it's alright, he'll get up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... But Project Eve looked really cool. Much like Bright Memory, it was kind of that sort of game that really caught my attention so early on. Yeah. Um... But of course, the site you were checking out with Response 4 isn't a fan of it. How come? Because it's an attractive, because uh, it's an attractive woman sort of style character yeah. on the front. With um, well, the game's inspired by Nier Automata, so you can know where the camera's panning to a lot of the time. Project Eve. Huh. She's. Oh, okay, she's a bit skimpy dress, I guess, but. I mean, it's more how tight the outfit is. <laughs> yep, I know what it means to be a rider. Kill everything. I've Skin seen, them alive. I've seen way worse outfits. Yeah, but the site you are on, you know how well, yeah. re it Rosetta is. Yeah. They get a wee bit uptight about most things. That was an S. You can click X, by the way, on these screens. But I've got to say, everything. just repeatedly smashing your enemy's head in with them, no chance to counterattack, seems a bit dull. That is the ideal form of combat. Give them no chance. Give them no. Like brand. that's actually my complaint Give about Pokemon no that fights the fights are, you know end up being too over too quickly because super effective and such just ends up usually sweeping a lot of the time. I once spent eighty turns doing head to heads with a mammoth to get an egg. <laughs> It was the most slow, painful grind I have ever done for a creature that has so far done nothing for my team because his stat gain is... So... Wait, so hold on. You can get the egg and then you can just teleport out there, but what's the point of, like, other monsters can attack, you know, come after you when you, you grab have the to egg? get out of the nest. Oh, okay. So... What it is is... Each time you pick up the eggs after a certain amount, there's a random chance that you will be attacked or wake up the monster. Would the den here actually even change anything depending on whether it's evening and afternoon? Because I imagine no. dust mushrooms would have grown here regardless. Uh, the dust mushrooms won't have spawned, but that's it. Oh, uh, there's three the eggs. Off. Which one do I grab? You have to jump off. Why? Okay. Uh, the game will dictate which one you get. You just click A. Nanka, that's not how you grab... Okay. I've... So, gold rarity is pretty good. Is this gold? Yeah, that's white It's shine. blue. No, that's white shined. It's also okay. white sparkling at the moment. So then just walk so, up. Yeah, you can just take it and go. What you've got is you've got standard eggs, golden ones, which is also why he said it's stinky. Yeah. And then you got Platinum Rarity, which will shine even brighter and have some sparkle effects and it'll be really smooth. Does the colour of the egg indicate what kind of monster he is? Yes. Because this looks know, like it's going to be another speedy, but I assume this is This game did something that Pokemon was incapable of doing. Uh, so, should I leave? Yeah. Okay. You can do. I'm this... pretty sure this is a. I'm, I don't think this is a Velocity Prey. What it is, is. Because this just kind of looks like the same pattern as a Velocity Prey. Every egg. Well, we haven't seen a Velocity Prey egg. Um, 
if you want as well, now, uh, we can do a quick look for a gold den. Although we should probably also end the episode. Yeah. We'll um, look for the gold den off screen, I guess. If, yeah. Like, that's not too hard for us at this no. point, is it? No. God, no. It's easy to do. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Is that a person? No. No, it's, it's a fish. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yes. Uh, for more content. I have just been talking like a very monotonous drone this episode. Thank gosh, you have but been acting as a tutorial guide. If this I is put, what it's like. If I put any energy in my voice, I'm just going to start coughing. This is the life of a tutorial guy who's realized that they are one and has been at it for too long. It's Hello, new player. It's life this is a tutorial guide after seeing the Cuphead journalist. <laughs> No, this is the seventeenth time I have to explain this instruction. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good goodbye. Cheers, everyone.